Darren Johnson, I'm a, a Green councillor in, in Lewisham. I was um, originally the, uh, the only Green councillor in, in Lewisham for, uh, for four years, but um, since the local elections, when there were six of us, Labour lost overall control of the council, we've really been able to have a big impact on the decision making. Hi, my name's Jonathan Dixon, I'm a Green councillor in Scarborough. I was elected last year. Uh, and since then I think I've been quite effective and quite influential, far more influential than I expected to be certainly in the first year as a lone Green councillor. I chaired the, um, the council's uh, task group on sustainable procurement uh, and managed to get the policy on fair trade uh, procurement for the council passed. Well I've been a Green councillor now for a year and um, what I've try to do and I hope that I've, uh, I really have succeeded in doing is to ensure that residents in my ward um, have a real say in the council and, to, and um, that any concerns that they have are addressed and dealt with quickly. As a member of uh, Liverpool City Council representing the Green Party I provide a sign, a visible sign that it's possible to get elected uh, as a Green and that means that uh, anybody as elsewhere in the city and other parts of Merseyside knows that voting Green is a useful thing to do, it can lead to consequences. When I was elected um, our, our local council's record on recycling was the fifth worst in the country and uh, out of about 300 and something odd local authorities that's pretty bad. Um, obviously the council knew it had to change I got elected really, I was just at the right, in the right place at the right time uh, and other councillors recognised that a green perspective on this would really be what they were looking for. I've um, become very involved in a local environmental group in the ward so that's working in the poorer part of the ward where, the, where there are mainly housing estates and um, getting local people involved in an environmental group which is going to um, try and improve uh, the, the local environment so in terms of our parks, building, tr planting trees um, and also just uh, improving people's quality of, of life. At the last meeting of the City Council I managed to get agreement and the motion carried to seek to change the planning uh, guidelines for our city which will encourage the provision of uh, covered cycle storage and also covered storage for recycling facilities. In um, local authorities like Kirklees, for example, um, they're the first local authority in the country to have a completely free home insulation scheme for everyone, regardless of their, of their income. Absolutely everyone is entitled to it. That's down to the Greens. Just having those green voices in the council chamber makes the other parties sit up and listen and it makes the council green up its act. And it, it, then normally we find that once the first green councillor is elected, they're followed by more and more at each election.